the engineer out there? Packman. 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 Yes. So Packman. hang on. When Neil or when Dick got out of school here. Yes. Yeah. Which would have Mr. been. Mr. Packman said, "If you want a job, Dick, come up to the mill." McLean Mill. Yeah. McLean Mill. What did he do down out there? <laughs> Tail saw. He didn't stay very long. <laughs> did, that wasn't for him. <laughs> that wasn't for him. He said he was covered salt. with water and sawdust all day long. Oh, okay. And the winter was coming on. Yeah. Yeah. That was, <laughs> yeah. It was very nice of Mr. Packenham to offer me a job. But, yeah. So we went over to Horn Lake and got a job as a logger. Okay. Yeah. And he stayed logging for a couple of years. So we had no idea when Dick graduated from high school here? Jeez. He, We've got... I'm sure we have it written somewhere. Where? So Must in, have. In, in 1939, uh, how, how, well, he was born in 1914. 1914. So he would have graduated in the late, well, no, he would have graduated in the early 30s. Yes, he would, wouldn't yeah. he? Yeah. Because he would have been 16 or 17, right? Yes, yes. So if it was, he would have been uh, 16 in 1930. Yeah. So it would have been 31, maybe 32. Did he, did he graduate? Yeah. He did graduate? Oh, well, yes, he did graduate. Okay. Yeah. Because that, that, that is a good timeline because yes. then we could know he went out to the McLean Mill That's and right. worked there and then, yeah. Yes, and he, he went to Mr. Packenham, offered him a job. Yeah. But he, he, didn't, he didn't fancy it. Mm. His father had said, when he, he was 18, of course. Okay. And his father said, his father was a tough old ex-soldier, ex-policeman. He said, when a man that reaches the age of 18, he should be able to feed himself. Mm. So Dick took that as a hint, you know. Well, yeah, that's a pretty big hint. <laughs> so anyway, the, the one season on, at the mills said the water and the cold water and the sawdust, you know. Yeah. So we went over to uh, Horn Lake and got a job. You left home then? And, and uh, yeah. yes. Yeah. And he went from different logging camps around on the island. And he was over on the mainland for a bit too. But he, again, what drove him out of the logging camps were the, the mosquitoes in the summer. Mm. He's actually allergic to insect bites, okay. insects. Okay. And he said, in, at one place he was logging and looking down on the blue water and the CPR ship went by and he said, well, that's, now that's what I, what I want to do. Yeah. So he went down to Victoria and applied for a job and they took him on. And uh, he went CPRing then for a few years until, until it broke out. So it would make sense. It would have been in the early 30s then. Yeah. 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 And, uh, he joined up, joined the Navy. He didn't have to worry about the mosquitoes on the boat. <laughs> no, no. Other things maybe, but he didn't say. Yeah. Yeah. It was all right, but his his best time was on the Lady Rose. Yeah. His happiest time. Of, the, of his life. Yes, it yeah. was. Did he regret having to give it up? Like, he obviously stayed on a couple of years after it Yes, no, I think that, been sold. Sure that that's tailed it off for him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He was getting older, you yeah. know. And, uh, yeah. No, he didn't seem to. No. He never went down to the dock. After? After, no. After he quit the After last he time? Quit, yeah, no. He never went down. No. Really? No. no. He was going to build his little sailboat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His sail on it, or, you know. Yeah. Just did, he, did he have any kind of relationship with Book George after? Did they talk about the ship or no, anything? No, particularly. No. Did that strike you as surprising? No, not really, no. Yeah. I mean, Brooke was a younger generation, and yeah. uh, he sort of, I think he considered Dick and John as old fogies. <laughs> I think so. Experienced old yeah. fogies. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I think it, and Dick wasn't the type to, I don't know, he didn't dislike people or... No, no you have to be a pretty people no. person yeah, oh, yeah, after all the well, years he, of doing well, he that. He was very, a people person. He was oh, very yeah. well liked on the ship. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew that, yeah. yeah he was very yeah. well liked. Yeah. The, uh, and the two of them, him and John, work well together. Yeah, they did very they did. well. Yeah. yeah, very well. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yeah. And the 
Indians all down you did. Yeah. Really. Yeah. No, it's yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, it's from the pole there, right? That, that was given by that in, in... I think that was after he left the ship, was it? No, that was when he was still when working was on the ship. It, it was an Indian gentleman that was owing some fares. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Gave that to my dad in, in lieu of payment. Oh, yeah. I think one of the kitties bumped it, yes, so there's a little, little, little bit of wood missing yeah. from there now. But well, you can still see it, though. Yeah. yeah. Back, I think, isn't it? Or, or on the bottom? bottom? It might be, yeah. There's something on the bottom. Yeah. John. Jacobson. Oh. Jacobson. Isn't it? Yeah. Is it Jacob Jacobson? Jacobson, Sunday? Yeah. 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 You no, know, he came, Dick said he came up to him one day downtown here. A house yeah. It. A house it, yeah. Yeah. A house it, yeah. And said, I owe you for a couple of trips, Cap. Yeah. Could you take this total pole instead? Take, right. And Dick said, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackson and yes. Percy Jackson at Kildonan. Oh. At Kildonan. And okay. they, they, they were 100% West Coast Indian. Yeah. Okay. And they were the last of their bunch. Oh, okay. Down okay. In, in well, yeah. young, people, young people are forced away, you know. Yes, they were. Work yeah. and yeah. educating yeah. their kids. kids yeah. 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 These two old people lived on it. In yeah. Yeah. They may still be, oh, I don't think they could Oh, no, be. no, they'll be long gone yeah. now. Hey, older elders. No, right, I'm fine. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Or I, yeah. I, I can offer you some fresh shortbread and fresh. No, cake. no, I, I better not have no, a lot. Don't want anyone breathing no. on it. <laughs> I would really appreciate it. You don't have to do this right away or anything, but if you find the article that was written by this lady oh, that was yes. sent to you. No, I do remember seeing it, but that? not lately. The one that yes. Ford bought? Oh, Ford yes. Ford. yes. Well, keep digging. They and, must have and sent some information and to they you must, they must at have. some time, and, some and then it must be dated somewhere. There'll be a date on it, I'm sure. Yeah, I think so, yeah. The trouble with me, I can't put, we have a very good face for the Yeah, well, I, 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 I will yeah. get down there yeah. and yeah. pull the some drawers apart. Get down there. I know. Yeah, don't but worry about it right away. No, no, but I will, I will that, that maybe would, up here. I will I know I've that. seen it. The, the real interesting part about that is that's a story that hasn't been told. That's right, no. Yeah. And, I mean, no. you've read the article, I yes. assume both yes. of you yeah. have read it. Yeah, we have, yeah. Is it? Can you recall if it's factual? If it's oh, yes. uh, yeah. how is it? Must be interesting. She oh, yeah. interviewed oh, yes, both absolutely. John and Dick. I yes. would assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, she did. Oh, yeah. And that way we'll yeah. get her name. And right. It would be good if there's a date. Date. Hopefully, I, yeah. I, I, I definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Dick, Dick couldn't recall her name, could he? I don't remember. I don't think he did. He didn't well, recall. Well, he couldn't recall talking to her. He must have talked to a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. I don't suppose we've got all the letters. Yeah. No. <laughs> that would be interesting, too, yes. though, to read some of those. <laughs> because be. I'm sure, because these people yeah. now, they're going to be, a lot of them were young people. They'd be alive today. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Wherever they came from, Europe, a right. lot. Yeah. And, you know, if we print some of this stuff that came from people, they're going to know it. And I'll bet you, you would, I wouldn't be surprised that some of the... Uh, replies you would get or the responses right i right. think that opens up a whole new thing you yeah, see because then <laughs> well no you're going to get people rightfully so say i i remember going going to lady rose mm -hmm. i remember this and i think that would give you a whole other uh warm and fuzzy feeling oh, i would think right yeah. 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 yes yeah. and it gives right. you yeah. you never want closure on something no no but oh, no. right if the lady rose is to cease existing yeah. Like it, it already yeah. has, in yeah. essence, because they're not using it anymore. They're no, using right. the Francis That's Park. Right. Yeah, they, yeah. But if it's yeah. gone out of sight, out of mind, yeah, this is a way of keeping the Lady Rose alive. Right. Of course yeah. it is. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And, I let, and you know what? Like. Somewhere down the line, if it ceases to exist totally, and, uh, you know, the museum is short of room, but I would think we would have to salvage something if it's the wheelhouse or what I'm just using that as an example or, or, or the wheels yeah the wheelhouse. yeah whatever something, you know yeah. something 
And if they put put display up, they can always have an exhibit at the museum for a while right. using the replies that people, letters that people sent, how it affected their lives. Oh, All right. You could, right. Actually, we would lend them that picture of Dick if they'd like to put it, put it there. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to take your picture today, the two of you, with the painting. Oh, oh if that's, okay, sure. That's okay? <laughs> sure. Well, I think, you know, like Dick said, John said, that, well, especially John said, yeah. That you said was the best likeness. Best oh, likeness. Uh, you uh, always said. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. They both. They both. When did. when when that picture was given to Dick, uh, they had, there was a retirement party. Yeah. They it gave was articles in the in the book. Yeah. There. They gave Dick the picture, and they gave John a, an aerial picture of the Lady Rose. Yeah. A, a okay. blown Very up. nice. A blown yeah. up. But John print. said it's not a patch on that one. No. Whatever happened to what John had? The family. Yeah. What happened to the family? Well, I think Joe, I don't know, Joe, Carrie, Carrie, of course, those are the three children. So they would have something. I they might. They might. Well, hopefully yeah. they kept Ho it. Hopefully they did. They might. Hopefully. I the can't see them throwing it out, eh? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. To be quite they honest. They sold. I don't they, know. They had built a house at Banfield. Yeah. They lived at Sproke Lake for years. You were saying, yeah. And then, then well, I guess more or less when Dick and John retired. Yeah. Then it, by that so time, it was almost yeah. fully... Finished, finished yeah. and built down yeah. at Banfield, and, they and then they moved it, down there. They built okay. at Banfield, and they lived down yeah. there. But, it, it but just to get back to the painting for a second here, this lady, journalist, or a writer, whatever, mm -hmm. she came out, she took a trip down, mm -hmm. she did interviewed people, took lots of pictures, mm -hmm. and obviously was impressed with what she saw. Mm -hmm. We don't know exactly when it was, but obviously uh, it was no. some time... time after 1960, well, it would have been in the 60s or 70s. It would have been in the 60s or 70s. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So she wrote an article, which you never heard or saw, and then one day you get a letter from the Ford Motor, Motor Company, Company yeah. saying that they had bought this lady's article, yeah. and out of the, they commissioned, out of using one of the photographs, they commissioned an artist to paint a painting yeah. of the Lady Rose, and would you like a copy? Well, the, That's this, right. This is a print of, of the painting. A print yeah. from that painting. Yeah. 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 Amazing, isn't it? But, well, it's amazing yeah. something like that would come out of the blue. Yeah. Like, it unexpected. We could, unexpected. Never, we could never figure out the Ford Motor Company, company but unless, as you say, she was commissioned by them to maybe to, travel around. But why? If it's motor cars, would she be traveling on uh, the ship? It's hard to say, but then yeah. they may have just come across this article, or well, maybe, maybe she was related to somebody well, at the Ford Motor could Company. could be anything, couldn't it? Hell, she could have been a member of the Ford family. Who's maybe. to know? Who's to know? Who knows? But right. maybe we'll find out. That's right. This is, that yeah. would be good. Yeah, I know. Because that painting, this print, has never been seen by anybody else. Is that no, not right? No. No. I mean, well, you've had it in the well, house ever we, since we, you got yeah, it. Ever never been anywhere it. else. There's right. never been anywhere else. No, there's never. No. There's no other copy of it in the valley. Was there a print of the painting on the picture of the? Yes. There was. I think there was. Yeah, there was on the on the on the magazine. On if the we can find the magazine, yeah. I, I pray that we can. What was the I, magazine? Do you remember? It, it, it's just a little magazine. Was it like or a travel log? It was. I think it was her. As I said, what was it? Sort of like a travel log? Travel magazine or a brochure? I don't know. No, Before I don't think Motor Times. Yeah. But I, I don't see that. See, that is something to me would almost indicate like a, a magazine put out for by for Ford employees and retired people. Could be. Like a company magazine, could like Woodard's used to have the Beacon. Yeah, it could be. Oh. So this may give us some indication of the relationship between the lady who did the story and took the pictures at Ford Motor That's Company. Right. Well, you never know, you know, someone might... Yeah, because there's no... Someone might read the... Exactly. The, the lady and write... And they may... Well, her relatives, if she was yes, a younger person, she so. could still be alive. She could be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. right. Well, she'd have been younger than they... Oh, yes. But it's nice, it would right. be nice right. for whoever to know how much 
Dick, John, and you guys That's appreciated right. that painting. That's right. Well, it would yeah. Which is taken from yeah. a picture she took. That's right. And yeah. we could, you could open up a whole dialogue with That's this true. person. Yeah. Right. Or her relatives. Uh, or and her apparently, relatives. Uh, uh, coming, coming into Yukula Harbor, my dad said. Okay. It's coming oh. into Yukula Harbor. Yeah, but Dick could pick out. Where? It's authentic. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, they couldn't have just yeah, made, no. drawn that no, from memory. No, no, no. no. no he knew that. He knew okay. the exact spot. She was this down. lady yeah. never painted it. They painted no. it. Somebody painted it there are based it. on the photographs that she had taken. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. she obviously was there. Yeah. 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 Is there a name on the painting? No. An artist no. name? No. No. Thanks. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I, so you you both we both worked on yeah at, the, at different you and K well yes yeah. subbed as coffee shop girls on yes, the boat on the on the Lady Rose yes. yeah yeah we didn't poison anyone <laughs> I remember starting at, at I must have I don't know whether I was working no I can't have been working at that time on the ship on the uh, U Chuck One because it was just a little. Uh, Tiny little oh, coffee I, shop. I, I, I remember seeing. I even as a kid, I, I remember the tiny coffee shop. Yeah. Did anybody save any photos of the U Chuck one, or the U Chuck two, or? Well, the, the, would they have had any when they took over the company? We may have some. Yeah, that would be interesting because I've seen the odd one where people were boarding the ship at the dock. Oh yeah. But it never shows the, the ship, the ship itself. itself. No. Well, we may have. Well, yeah. there's, 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 there's three snapshots there that I should yeah. well, they're, they're just little snapshots. I was shots. wondering if Dave, Dave Young, the son, is, lives... He lives he's in, in, in Courtney or in Kumok still. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right. He had taken over the Uchuk 3 when the father retired. Okay. He bought it. Yes, and Young. And now he is Dave, retired. Now Dave is retired, yeah. and, and the Uchuk 3 has been bought by somebody else. It's just still operating. might. Pardon? The Uchuk 3. Oh, oh, it's still operating. Nutka Sound, I think, is yeah. what they call Nutka it. Nutka Sound. Right. Transport or something? Yeah, Nutka yeah. Sound Transport. Yeah, yeah. 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 okay. Yeah. And John and Dick went up with, with that ship. Okay, they took it up there? They took it up there. Yeah. Okay. But then they thought, it, and uh, Essen and George wanted them to, to stay. Okay. Yeah. But they decided they'd rather stay here. Yeah. You know, that was okay. when they more or less started investigating the Lady Rose. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think, I mean, you've given me a lot, a lot of information. There's obviously more than the story here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mess of information, eh? And, and I, I like to work on things and, and save it. Like, a lot of people think I'm going to have it in right away, and I don't. I work on things and gather information, do a piece here and a piece there, and pretty soon, Years later, you can even think of a piece that would add to this oh, and sure. add to that, yeah. and it makes it yeah. better. Yeah. But yeah. what I'm going to go with fairly soon is the fact, because the Lady Rose is topical right now, mm -hmm. is the main emphasis is that it was Dick and John who brought the Lady Rose to Port Alberta. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's number one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Number two is they were the ones that ran it. For mo well, for most of its early life, for sure, yeah, yeah. until the yeah. 80s when uh, they sold it. Yeah, 82. 82 to 82 Hartwick. To, to Hans, Hans Hartwick. Hartwick of Diversified Holdings of Victoria. Right? And then, who then, because most people, the old, like, certain generation believe it was always Brooke George, right? Because that's all they knew. That's all they knew. Of course. Okay, and other generations believe it was Dick and John, because that's right. all they knew. That's all they knew, right. Right. So we want to sort of get the, but the main thing is, yeah. these are the people who had the Lady Rose brought here, they put her into service, mm -hmm. and being that you're the last, that's how you feel about it, and you know how Dick would have felt about it. Right. That's what's important right now, mm -hmm. okay? Um, this story here is very important because right. we have proof that somebody else way from here felt the same way about That's the Lady right. Rose, yeah, obviously. And that and we know we know that there are lots of other people oh, yeah. who came here over the years, took the ship right. down to the coast right. for whatever reason, just for an outing, whatever. Well, they, 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 they feel the same way. Yeah. And that's why if you uncover these letters it'll be it'll be Yeah, well I, I will really get looking down the yeah. boxes and, and the drawers. <laughs> Paul yeah, yeah. at twenty one was white. Yeah. Well I was about twenty two. 
Well, there you go. Yes, yeah. I've heard of yeah. So yeah. Tom Barnett bought the creamery. The creamery house. From my mom and dad. Yes. Do you remember when that was? <clears throat> what what year would that have been? Roughly. <laughs> we moved in here. Dick finished the house Christmas of nineteen fifty nine. Fifty nine. Yeah. Okay. 59. Yeah. Yeah. The Barnett. He was working in the middle of the time. And Tom Barnett was on Alberni City Council for a while oh, before yeah. he went oh, to yeah. Ottawa. Yeah. 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 I know. Um, I'm working. Say, what did you say later? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just start off a little bit now. We had pictures of you with Cougar Brown earlier when you lived on Second Avenue, right? First Avenue. Yeah. 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 Corner sure. First and Bruce. First and Bruce. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> now that was in the late forties. Um, mid, early, early forties. Night forty-three to forty-three. I was born, so about forty-five to. Because you weren't very old in the picture. No, no, I was two, three, four in that age. Tell us how, so you actually knew Cougar Brown for a lot of years. I knew him as a child and a teenager. Okay. And then, of course, um, I moved away and, you know, you lose touch. And then I met him again when he was sick in the hospital. And I nursed him years later. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, but he, did he always live, live his cabin out on China Creek? After he left our place, he may have boarded at the odd person's place, but then he chose to get this little cabin going. And he pretty much lived there. And it was, I think, tough in the winter because it was just a ramshackle yeah, cab. Yeah, cab. Been yeah. But in his, he was tough in the early days. So he had to be in his early 40s. In the, you in, first met in, him? in the 40s, yeah. Right, okay, so he was. He passed away how old will he I think he was 99. Okay. I think. Yeah. When did he pass away? No, I'm not too sure on that. Um, okay. I'm guessing seven years ago. Oh, okay. So recently, really? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it wasn't that long ago. Did anybody know where he came from or know, know his background? No, but he had had uh, nephews and obviously had relatives. In that town? Found. I, I never met them. So his name was Cougar Brown, but obviously that his last was last was Harry. His name was Harry Brown. Harry Brown. Harry Brown. But they called him Cougar because he hunted, he hunted cougars. cougars. Because we had a lot of cougars yeah. in the valley in those days. Well, there were a few cougars. There was a cougar smith who lived out. A lady, yeah. Well, there was a, a, a guy too. Uh, okay. Apparently, there was quite quite a few cougars. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, cougar Annie, yeah. You're yeah, yeah, of, yeah, cougar Annie, yeah. yeah. Um, Actually, I think it was just sort of everybody from those days were by trappers, hunters, yeah. loggers. Yeah. You know, yeah. this was the area. Yeah. Yeah. These pictures here now that this uh, Dick has gotten from Jim Babish and had the pictures uh, blowing up. This was at his cabin area. He he must have shot the mother and didn't realize she had kids yet. Which, which pic, this is an older picture, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When do you think that picture was taken? Well, it's, by the looks of Harry, this, not that old this is in the 50s. This okay. has got to be in the 50s. Okay. Early 50s, actually. And this one here is him out at his place late, much later, it would appear, right? Yeah, because, yeah, he could have been, been in the 70s, maybe. Yeah, is it that car? He had that... He's always had a, um, this one he got fixed up, but the other, you probably saw the picture yeah. of the other one. He always had an old junker and built a box on the back to okay. bring his cats in. But this is a, a newer, newer, newer one, at least to me. So it had to be in the 70s. Okay. And that other one you got here. This one. No, this one here. That could have been around that time, too, for the simple reason that he, all, he never quit hunting and getting kits. That dog that the cougars are nursing on. He looks, he looks quite a bit older in that picture. Well, I think Harry, you know, he, he this lifestyle he lived, he could have only been in his 50s there. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Really? And this one here, see, because he still has... Darker hair. Darker hair yeah, for now, the most that part. That could have been the late, you know, 40-ish This is the earliest, yes, true, obviously, than this one, than this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you saw the other there where he was, yeah, he was yeah. young. Let's take a look at those again here. We've got pictures coming out of here. Oh, 
what you've written on the back? No, just a little bit. That's 1945, all I... Shirley with Harry Brown. Harry Brown and nephew Ernest at his cabin on China Creek. That would be this one here. Okay, this is down on First Avenue. Yeah. Okay. So is this. So is that. And these are all going to be, <coughs> excuse me, in the same time frame, right? Pretty, pretty much. Except Isn't this one could have been um, later. Later, probably. Yeah, because it does look older there than here. Okay. And then, whoops, I'll get that one. Oh. This one here, see how see how much younger he is there? So yeah. That, that would have been in the... This is still down on First Avenue? Yeah, but he did come to visit, like, you know, so this could be up till the 50s. That gives an idea of his truck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this one here, here, that one there. So, when, nobody sort of knows when he came to town or or anything that much about him? Um, or if that's all he ever did was hunt cougars? Or? He could have been a logger. Yeah, originally. Originally. Okay. But, you know, he, he was into trapping and then hunting. Yeah, okay. So that I just was, want to make sure here of these pictures. So I haven't looked at these two for a while. <laughs> I don't want you to think I looked at them every day. Okay, there's that one that you brought in about Ray okay, Brown and his that. car. This is this one here. This is not on these pictures here. No, because here. you got the original. Yeah. Which was a, was a good picture, by the way. But that one there, that got a few people going. Yeah, great one. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good one. This was a good one, too. That one there. The old parade, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and this one here. Shirley Smith, Heather. Oh yeah, Heather. She has. She's a walking encyclopedia. That lady. Yeah, that's the picture. For, that's because Dwight was in that yeah. photo, and yeah. that really freaked him out. <laughs> <laughs> he just couldn't believe that 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 happened. Linda Warren, of course, we yeah. all know. Yeah. Yeah. That that was really good. I'm just going to hang on to that because I know the names in case I have to go back. And mm -hmm. This was a good one of you because this is, it seemed to be you were a little older there. Yeah, well, I, all I know is Harry Brown came and went, so he was a family friend. Okay. So when he boarded with us, then for the next 20 years, he was back and forth to our house. This, was, this is your house here? Yes. That's his cabin. That's another picture of the cab cabin? Yeah. China Creek. There. There. And then, like, this is the background of our house. Yeah. So your dad was quick. My my dad, uh, here is my dad, right there. Okay. Now, he died in 76. And he was friends. Oh, well, Louis. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And then, like I say, there was such a, there was a Harry Hoy, there was Etima Hundle, there was a whole gang of us, of us to go down. I don't know if that's a picture near the foundry. Yeah, this is the background. This is the foundry area. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And they used to have these great big wooden round things with a handle on the end. I could actually bring you a picture. Mm -hmm. And they were big, tall, weight-type things, and they, they, they would practice lifting this stuff and see who could lift the most. And, <laughs> and it was just sort of, sort of game. And they were all friends. This is this is your dad. No, that's, that's Harry. Your, there's Harry there. Harry with that to And this was in 1961. This picture? No. No, it would have been before. It would have been before. It was before. He, he he retired in 1961. Yeah. That would have been in the 40s to 50s. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, that's great. So I can um, I can get you copies of these pictures. No, no, if you no, want. no, 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 these ones. Oh, sure, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't have a I didn't want to. I haven't decided how I'm going to use them mm -hmm. until I talk to you. Yeah. But your these are for you to keep. So. Yeah. <clears throat> this one here will will have sure somewhere on the computer. Oh, okay. But um, if you want to keep it along with it for a while. This sure. one goes with this one. Yeah. Really. That's right. It does. Yeah. Yeah, we hey, better hang on to that one because I may have to reproduce. Yeah, my name's on it. Yeah. No problem. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you got 1947 yeah. on the back. Yeah. Because no, this one, 
This is, this is, you're a really cute, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's why my name's Shirley. It was named after Shirley Temple. Oh, okay. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> then we just thought because your parents liked the name. <laughs> they no, obviously it, it liked Shirley Temple. Tem <laughs> yeah, it was that era. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding, eh? Well, this is a good one because I've seen that one before, him with the fiddle. Yeah, he played uh, the fiddle. Yeah. yeah. And this is down at your house, the yep. same, same thing? Uh, right on the front walk. Or, yeah. Yeah, or the okay. back, I would say the back door. This is Bruce Street coming yeah. down. Yeah, okay. And this here would be facing First Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Is the house still there? Yeah. Because that it, looks it, familiar. The house is still right there, but it's all that, all that kind of pinky colored. Oh, okay. That, with little brown shoes. My mother had it all redone up. Oh, okay. Uh, when did you move out of the house? Never did. Still you, there. You still live there? Born and raised. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, Mom's still there. She's oh. going to be 87 this year, and she oh, still okay. takes Good. care of everything. She's oh. quite the busy bee. Very independent. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, that's excellent. Yeah, that's great. That gives me lots of ammunition, then. Yeah. Well, you can put these inside this envelope here. Yeah, well, you keep that one. I want to put this envelope. Yeah. The one that I put my name on. It's here. Right here. Okay. There it is. That on the okay, I'll put this in, in. And I'll take these ones back. Yeah. That's excellent. That gives us a, it gives us an insight. Like. Well, you know, he was a colorful man. I, I don't know if you remember the bronze. bronze. Fisher. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a whole crowd of them that all knew him. He was in that crowd? He was... Not a lot in that crowd, but he was part of that crowd. Evelyn's and they, they were like the loggers. The Bronsons were loggers. Oh, okay. And Evelyn was, uh, well, of course, the hairdresser. The hairdresser. Oh, she was. <laughs> um, I worked in her shop when I was 11, and what I did was wash the towels, uh, do the perm rod things. They used to have those electrical oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, There yeah. was things to clean up and stuff, and my mother worked as a hairdresser there. Oh. But she wasn't a trained hairdresser. You know, no. did the old Tony stuff yeah, with the, yeah, yeah, with the you rods. Yeah, what to do. Yeah. She did it, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we knew Evelyn all her life. I've got pictures of Evelyn when she was a young girl. That would be interesting. Would you? Really? Oh, well, yeah. She's in a bathing uh, suit. She's gorgeous. She was a very good-looking yeah, yeah. girl. I've got she lots of pictures yeah. of her. Uh, yeah. No, no. Uh, um, Dave Russell got her son. Oh, Did Barry. Picture? Barry, I know Barry, yeah. Yeah, he was, I didn't get, he was at that car, car de, de, de was. last year. Yeah. I didn't get a chance, because then they said, well, said, well you know, it's yeah. Evelyn's yeah. son. Yeah. Said, but he was busy, biz. I never, I never had a chance to go to talk to him, because he was mm -hmm. always yapping to yeah, somebody yeah. else. Well, if you want, I can print up a bunch of those uh, Evelyn Did ones. Did you keep any pictures of her, stock, of her shop? Yep, I got one. Nice yeah. new, when yeah. it was freshly painted and probably in the, the 40s, one on, 50s. The, on Argyle, the building? Yep, yep. Yeah. 40s, 50s. Which her dad actually bought. The Carlson building, yeah. 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 Oh, when Winans came to town, when Art came to town, he was what, in his early 20s, if late yeah, teens? Yeah, 52 or 55. Okay, okay. So around there, I started in his shop. You worked for Art? Yeah, I worked for oh, Art. Way and, there, right? and he had he, my goods, like, like a bull, bull, bull cloth. Like fabric? Yeah, and yeah. yeah. I worked for him for a while. Is that right? I thought you were always a nurse. I was, but I started working when I was 11, 12 years oh, old. Oh, okay. You could do that in those days. Well, sure. You and then the do Cozy that Corner Store. Remember the Cozy yeah, Corner Store? Yes, I've, I've read I worked about it. it. I worked in there. <laughs> I babysat. I, who did I babysit? Let's see. Uh, Van Heek. I ba babysat um, uh, Gerard Jensen. Oh. I mean, I mean, I used to, to babysit Gerard Jensen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Gerard. You ask him. I will. <laughs> yeah, I will. That's yeah, good yeah. ammunition. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I had lots of fun, like I had lots, lots of different characters I've known over the years. When you, when you left, you said you left town for a while, while did you go? Oh, I went and took my training in Victoria, oh, okay, okay, and yeah. then, then worked there for a while, then I moved to the to Bay. Oh, Thunder Bay. Yeah, and I lived back east for about three, four years. Oh, okay. And my girlfriend got married, and I'm by myself back there, and I thought, I'll come home. How come you went back to Thunder Bay? I mean, her and I wanted an adventure. We we were gonna we were gonna go all the way to Toronto. I thought you were married all your life, almost. Oh God, no! I never got married till I was twenty twenty five. Ooh, that Didn't was have old kids until days. I was in my thirties. Oh, that was really old. Yeah, days. it was. It was. Yeah. Now it's. It's a, well, my daughter's yeah. thirty two and had her first, so you know. 
Yeah. Times change. <laughs> Times change, for sure. And then I came back here uh, for Christmas. Actually, I lived in Victoria. I got a job at, uh, where was I working at? Royal Jubilee at the time. Oh, yeah. And uh, came home for Christmas. Okay. Went skiing with some buddy. Buddy. Broke, broke big. Oh, oh, oh. Get him out of my apartment. Give him, give him a job. job. What nurse with a broken leg? And, yeah, and I had a, a cast and, and crutches. I didn't have a walking cast. Mm -hmm. So here I'm stuck in the valley. I didn't have that medical insurance because I'd come back from Ontario. Yeah. And I was out of province. And I ended up in the hospital, I think, three days because it was so swollen. Because I broke my leg in the morning and everybody was skiing. I went, I saw that. I'm back. You were skiing when you broke your leg? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> On Forbidden back in the day. Oh, yeah. That was the place. Yeah. And, yeah. oh, you know, oh, what's his name? Sonny Van Hurd. Oh, yes. Yeah. I yeah. remember sitting in the lounge waiting for my friends because I thought, well, they come up here to ski. And I first thing I did in the morning is break my blessed leg. Yeah. So, consequently, I was going to stay there till supper time, till they're finished, right? Yeah. Of course, the leg pops up. Yeah. I had to go to the bathroom in the meantime. There's Sonny Van Herb being the, the, the night. He, he packs me to the ladies' wash room and he says, I'll wait outside until you finish. You knock on the door. Yeah. I can remember. I'll pack you back. <laughs> I remember that. Humiliating. It was. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah. Being a nurse, you see all that stuff anyway. <laughs> Anyhow, I, I ended up staying here in the valley. Yeah. How many years did you nurse? Uh, 43. All told. That was a good career for you. Oh, for me, yes. Um, I had won a scholarship for painting for the Emily, Emily School of Art. Wow. And I went over there, had the interview, what was it, 61, 2, whatever that time era. And I went in there, and back in those days, women couldn't go into pops. Mm. Okay? There were all these men being interviewed, and I felt so intimidated. I thought, I, 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 can't, I can't do this, I thought to myself. Yeah. Because you had to have a lot of self-esteem to be an artist in those days. Mm -hmm. And I just said, no, I'm going to something safe. So I went off to nursing. You were pretty good as a painter? I, I picked it up again about five years ago. And I only do my work on commission. Good for you. Yeah, I just paint people's pets. I like oh. to do that. Yeah. I've been doing that, yeah, about five years. I've done about 300. Who have you painted? Anybody's famous pets? No. Any famous people's pets? Not famous people, just a lot of friends. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, they told their family, their family yeah. told their family. Yeah, um, I Oh, did I bring my purse? Yes, I did. I can show you. Many talented persons. <laughs> We've been hiding a lot of this stuff. Oh, well, well, I don't advertise it because if you advertise it, you know what it becomes? A business. Work. Yeah, it work. <laughs> Now, this is a dog standing on Mount Benson. Oh, oh, this yeah. is the picture of it. I put it on a big piece of slate. This is your painting? Yeah, yeah. And that's the photo. Yes. And oh, this is uh, Peggy's good. Cove, and I, you know, you obliterate yeah. all what you don't want, and that's yeah. a smaller rock compared to the 8 by 10 oh. picture. Oh, that, that's it for pictures. Oh. I only put a couple in there. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that one's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're both good, yeah. but that's... Yeah, but I, that's yeah. my forte. I love pets, and I like to capture their personality. Yeah, they're a lot like people, eh? Yes, they are. In fact, they are like people. Yeah. yeah they have, yeah. you know, you can certainly see. So their, how's your family? Good? Good. Um, granddaughter? Good. She, I get her for <laughs> 10 days coming up. This is the first one? First no. I have a nine-year-old, my okay. son's from a broken relationship, and this is my uh, daughter and son-in-law's little one, oh, Ryan. Nice. There, uh, you can probably see a picture of my daughter and son-in-law. Yeah, when they got married in Mexico. Oh, yeah. No, seven. Oh. Yeah, we had a wonderful time down there. We went for a whole week, you know, and then they stayed for two. Your daughter. Yeah. Okay, you won the door prize, and that's Roberta? Roberta Jensen. J-E-M-S-E-M? -E -E Correct. So time to could be a win. That's right. And you beat your friend here out of it by what, what one number? One number. <laughs> but she's not sad. No, no. You should get to share some of it, I'm sure. It's a good... Uh, it's a wine anyway. <laughs> Maybe that'll be right away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you had a good time? I had a marvelous time. Is it your first time? No, you've been here. No, not not for the desserts. It's my oh. first time. But you'll be back next year. Of course. Well. And there's not a carry in any one of them. That's the good news. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much.
theme is? Kathy Merckx. M-E-R-X. Right. You all know who's promised me pictures but never sent them. No, that's Kathy with a K. Oh, Kathy with a K, of course. Good point. <laughs> Carol Terry. I would have had to check, right? And uh -huh. we know the young lady, but... Vivian Hewlett. H-U-E-T? No, H-E-W. H-E-W-E-T. L-E-T-T. Says H-O-H-U-O-T, too. Yeah. For Hewlett. Yeah. Okay. Was a convener. Okay, good. She's the Navy was a convener. She's yes. a worthy matron. Yes. So it's uh, it's been a good day. It's been really, really good. Good. Okay. We've had a better turnout this year than last year, and even better than last yes, year. Yes, and I don't know what we're going to do if we get in better, but that's good. <laughs> maybe a little longer. Have mm -hmm. it a little longer. Yeah, maybe, and have people come in two sittings. Yeah. Once again, you had her part. Yes. Fur Park came and reserved three tables, and it was very good to have them here. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate their staff bringing them. It's very nice. So this year you would have made a bit more money for cancer dressings than the other charities? Yes. This, this year our um, cancer money is going to breast cancer research. Okay. Um, as we're the matron, I lost my daughter-in-law to, to breast cancer, so I've chosen that as this year's cancer project. You for, still continue with the cancer? Oh, we always do the dressings. That's an ongoing forever, we hope. Yeah. Um, and those are made every second Wednesday here at the hall and taken to Victoria for sterilizing and then come back. Can they call you for more information? Or? They can call the cancer office. The cancer office disperses some bandages now. Yes. Okay. okay. So. They, they take care of coordinate all that? Yes, they do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. What's their number downstairs? No, it's 724-2912. Yeah. Perfect. And they're open Monday to Friday? Yes, they are. Yeah, and the cancer bandages go down with the cancer van when it goes down yeah. to be sterilized, and then the cancer van brings them back. Yeah. And, and then there's they're... obviously still a need for that. Yes, there is. And, and they're dispersed by when somebody brings a note to the doctor down to the cancer office, they're given the bandages. And I see Betty's the lady with the basket full of money this, this year. Yes, Betty's been on the door this year with her basket full of money. We'd like to see more money in it, but and it's a very to nice basket. Uh, door prize winner just as she was leaving, so I yes, pictured good. by Roberta Jensen. Yes, that one our lovely trustee here at one time. That's right, yeah. and we get all good people here. Obviously. <laughs> so what's coming now? The Spring Bazaar comes up. Yes, the next thing will be the Spring Bazaar on May the 2nd. Okay. And it, this year is moving to the United Church That's right. Hall because we are have grown so big that we're going to the United Church Hall, and we hope that everybody will support us as they have in the past. May the 2nd, that's a Saturday. That's a Saturday. And what time would that be? It'll be Monday? at, no, it, it's at 11.30 till, uh, um, what, till 2. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's a little bit Yes, time. it is. Okay, it's lunch. Okay. Yeah. And no, it was always 11:30. Oh, I thought so that people. Two hours. You no, know, so people come in for. Okay. Yeah. Good. But do you ever think of doing this a little longer? Because you only go 1:30 to three. Well, we've just found that that all everybody comes and then everybody goes, and it just seems that the like. Is yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. Once again, the desserts were absolutely made by the ladies. All the made ladies. by the ladies, and they were absolutely wonderful this year. We had everything from cheesecakes to rice pudding. Have the ladies told you that somebody suggested you should have this once a week? Oh, yes, but <laughs> no, no, none of us can stand that. <laughs> but once a year, you can stand it, and you can come and splurge, you see. Yeah, decadent is cool once a year. That's right. This was, these cups and saucers, plus many more, belong to your mother-in-law. What was her name? Nora Davies. Laura? Nora. Nora, N-O-R-A. Hey. N. Aunt Nora Davies. Oh, just in a war, yeah. yeah. You don't hear that name that much anymore. No, it's quite an older, it's yeah. an older name. Yeah. And she was born and raised in Nanaimo. Well, she was born in, in Vancouver, and then they moved over to Nanaimo, and she was basically raised most of her life in Nanaimo. And, uh... Then Dad Jerry Dern took her to Great Central Lake. <laughs> what was his name? Fred. Fred? Yeah. Okay, and then she moved out. She was very young when she moved yeah, out. Yeah, she was to... about 18 when she moved out there. And so every year he would buy, every payday, he would buy her a new cup and saucer. And he did that for years. And finally she said, enough is enough. I have enough. Yeah. Well, you it's amazing. had enough to, to set every table here at the Decadent Desserts. I did. And yes. that would be like a 72. Yeah, 72. I have cups yeah. and saucers. Right. You didn't have to come up with spoons, did you? No. <laughs> I probably could have, but yeah. yeah. 
So, just to give us an idea of the year, what would be the age of some of these cups and saucers? When would she have moved out to Great Central? you have a time, a year? No, Al probably does, but I don't know. I can ask him, yeah. Cause he, ask yeah, because he has the pay stuff. Because Al's, yeah. Al's grandfather was the first planerman out at Great Central. Okay. And Al's yes. father was the last planerman. At Great Central. Yeah. Okay, see, there's another story. Yeah, I know. See how things are connected. Yeah, I know. It's all... How's the hell?